Well, Congressman John Murtha is being remembered by Republicans and Democrats as a great patriot. The Pennsylvania Democrat died Monday at the age of 77 after complications from gallbladder surgery. Now, his death opens up one of the most important positions in Washington when it comes to defense dollars. Bloomberg's Peter Cook in D.C. with more on this. Peter. Well, Betty, John Murtha was one of the most powerful members of Congress uh, that you can imagine. A decorated Marine officer, he was one of the first Vietnam combat veteran to serve in Congress, and he was always deeply involved in defense issues. He was one of the cardinals. That's the nickname given to House Appropriations Submitted, Subcommittee chairman who control much of federal government spending. He chaired the Defense Subcommittee. Uh, making him the gatekeeper for billions in defense dollars, and he unapologetically steered a big chunk of that money to his Pennsylvania district. Who replaces Murtha is now a critical question for defense contractors, and the most likely choice is Washington Democrat Norm Dix. He's been Murtha's number two on the panel. He is next in line in terms of seniority, and that is a potential boost for Boeing. Dix is a longtime backer of the company, which operates a plant adjacent to his district, and he's been very involved, for example, in the Pentagon's pending contract for an air refueling tanker, backing Boeing's bid in that, of course. Like Murtha, Dix has been scrutinized for his contacts with lobbyists and defense contractors. The Office of Congressional Ethics, however, concluded an investigation last year without finding any wrongdoing on Dix's part. Boeing employees and his political action committee have given more to his reelection campaign than any other business. Uh, so, again, this is uh, something people are going to be watching very closely whether that Norm Dix uh, does take over this position. Uh, and, Peter, I mean, who makes the decision on who gets this chairman? Ship. Well, the key thing here is seniority. Everyone expects that he will get this position. It is decided by the committee itself, and he is the second ranking member on the full Appropriations Committee. So, again, seniority is key here, Betty. Okay, Peter, thanks so much. Peter Cook in Washington.